Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to raise the VRAM allocation on pretty much any AMD system out there, specifically for systems that have that setting locked away in the BIOS. For most systems out there, you do have to access the BIOS to be able to actually increase the amount of system RAM that's allocated as VRAM. Now on this specific HP Pavilion laptop that I have here, that option is not accessible in the BIOS. But there is a workaround if you use the smokeless universal amd form browser now this program what it allows you to do is essentially access the settings in the bios that normally are locked away so that you can actually modify the amount of vram allocation as well as a bunch of other settings and i'm going to show you how to do that right now to start off, head to the GitHub for this specific utility here. You can actually look at some of the information for it, as well as how to download it and how to install it. And of course, donation links for the developer, because this is such a useful feature. You should definitely support the developer of this. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up Rufus and create a free DOS bootable disk. You don't need to select any ISO file or anything like that. It pretty much is just free DOS. To the main directory of that free DOS boot drive, you're going to want to just drag and drop everything that was in the zip file from the GitHub. And that's pretty much all you need to do. We just need to boot into this now. Now, one thing you are going to have to do before you're actually able to boot into this specific menu is disable secure boot. Once you have disabled secure boot, you're actually able to boot in here and you're going to be greeted with this specific menu screen here. From here, you just go down to device manager and this will bring you into a lot of the hidden menu features that are available to AMD systems. For example, you could go all the way down here and here you're actually able to configure the TDP at a BIOS level if that's what you want to do. So this system has a stock TDP of 15 watts. I could raise it up to 25 if I wanted to. But where I want to go is over here to the graphics configuration menu and then for the iGPU config it's uma specified and then i set it to two gigabytes because the system that i'm on right now currently only has eight gigabytes in total but depending on how much ram you have you might want to consider raising it higher or lower for example if you have 32 gigabytes of ram you could easily allocate eight or even 16 gigabytes to this if you wanted to and of course as you start to leave this menu it's going to ask you if you want to save these settings you of course hit y to say yes to that and all you have to do is exit and you're pretty much good to go you can also boot back into the bios and re-enable secure boot as you're probably going to need it for certain anti-cheats out there now before i did this when i tried to load into rainbow six siege it would give me a low vram warning since we only had 512 gigabytes allocated now, a thing that I need to point out with APUs is that this is not going to be a problem 99% of the time. APUs are designed to dynamically adjust the amount of VRAM that they can access. So just because it has 512 megabytes allocated to it doesn't mean that's all it can use. It's actually able to utilize as much VRAM as it wants just from your system RAM. It just won't be labeled as VRAM but it is functioning exactly the same as that. This is only a problem in certain titles where what they're looking for is specifically the amount of dedicated RAM that you have. Certain titles won't even launch unless you meet that prerequisite. So even though the APU can actually access more than what it has allocated, if it's not allocated, the game itself does not know that it's an APU. So it's essentially just going to block you out. A perfect example of this is the Dead Space remake, which will just end up in a infinite loading screen unless you're on a system with at least four gigabytes of VRAM. But you'll see that after allocating two gigabytes of VRAM with this utility, Rainbow Six Siege is no longer giving me that warning. And if we go into the graphics menu here, we'll see that we actually have two gigabytes of dedicated VRAM. Again, this will not affect for performance, but that does remove the indicator there. And of course, in the in-game menu, it actually thinks that we have those two gigabytes of VRAM. Now, this is a system with only eight gigabytes of RAM. So allocating any more than this, and you're really cutting into your system RAM. And again, the system will automatically use more VRAM if it needs to. You don't need to allocate any more. This is just for those times that you need to get past those arbitrary barriers. 
So don't think that you need this to increase your performance. In 99% of games, this will not actually affect performance at all. But it's a definitely a nice to have feature. And I'm so glad that this utility exists. Thank you so much for you were that recommended this to me, Tech 3D 556. And of course, thank you so much to the developer for actually making this utility. Of course, check out the GitHub down below. And if you're so inclined, be sure to donate towards them. I will catch you in the next one.